and I quickly explain the process manager and how it works. So essentially there's three levels to the process manager. First, you have your core processes, which is what we're looking at right now, and each account comes with six default. You can add to those core processes by using this plus sign um, and creating a new core process. So put in the title, the description, and then when you're assigning an owner, this is pulling up the accountability chart seat. So you can see each time I hover over a seat, it's gonna tell me who sits in that seat so I can select a user. That field is not required. All you have to enter is a title. And once you do, you know, create your core process, or if you want to edit an existing, you can click on this view details button, and that opens up some details to the right hand side over here. So we can see the title of it, maybe add a little description, and then identify is this process documented. So we'll go into the documented portion of this next. Um, is it followed by all? So these are not based off anything. These are just you, you know, saying, is it followed by all yes or no? Is it effective? Yes or no? So you can fill in both of those. And then you can also attach specific measurables to it. These are going to pull from your scorecard on that data page. And then you can also add attachments. So you'll see these two options as we go throughout, because as we build down, so if I click to view steps, we can see I have the second level um, being the steps of the process. So within HR, we can have a way that we hire, that we onboard, that we give feedback, and so on within here. And if I want to get a better view of it, I can always zoom out too to see more information at one time. And then within here, so we've got hiring, and it works the same way where you just click View Details, and you can see the details of that specific item. And then, you know, usually people add the description area just to kind of add some details about why they're doing it or how you would do it. Um, you can see, you can put links within here. So if you use any outside resources like, like Google Docs or any like CRM or project management systems that you wanna link directly to, I definitely encourage you to do that because then somebody can just be reading this and then click into there and see exactly where they wanna go. The details section you can see is laid out right here in the bullet point format. So a lot of people will use this for any sort of checklist or ordering of items. So you can add new items or rearrange those like so. And then again, add attachment, add measurables, add attachments. The attachments feature, you can use any sort of document. So even if you want to add a video or forms people need to fill out or anything like that, um, really make this your resource center for anything somebody would need to know about, in this example, hiring. So I just closed those details and now we're back to our main view where we can see our core process at the top and then our steps down below. And we can go down one more layer. So if we have sub steps that we wanna build out for, let's say onboarding, we would click the plus sign here. For hiring, we already have some sub steps built out. So if we just click the expand button, we can see down a little bit more where we have within hiring a way that we search and then interview and then screen. So you can go down three levels again with that core process, um, the steps, and then the sub steps. And these all have that same level of detail where you can click on the view details to open up that information to the right hand side. And of course, if you needed to make anything a to do, create an issue out of it, it works the same way where it will clone all the information that you have written out in here into that issue field. And then if you wanted to duplicate this or move it anywhere else, that's where the clone the step. Um, so creating a copy and then changing the parent process, um, being able to move it to a different section um, of the chart. So you can see if sales has sub seats that I can go in and change that as well. And then the process link is just so that you have a link directly to this item. So if you're communicating with somebody about that, you could click that to copy it. And then, you know, Slack, email, however you communicate to that person, send the link, and then they would be able to open it up specifically to this um, step or sub step. And that's your basics of the process system. So you can see here we have just the, the HR one completely built out. Encourage you to think through this for your organization, or again, go into those other processes and just use the plus sign to start adding steps, sub steps, or new core processes. So it'll kind of guide you as you hover over these, what you'll be looking at or what you'll be editing for each of those sections. So please don't hesitate to reach out. We're happy to help. Um, 
and good luck building out your processes. Thanks.